Hey Gemini, my name is Crystal. I'm doing a quick reading for you guys. I'm going to pull some cards from my oracle decks and from the tarot, your outcome, your situation, your challenges, and actions and advice. And I'm going to pull some cards to see, um, you know, the signs that you guys are dealing with. Um, okay, so only take what resonates if it doesn't resonate for you. Just ignore that part. The whole thing doesn't have to resonate for you to get the message that you need to hear. You have impasse, which means reflect and redirect your energy, okay? So maybe you are trying to do things differently, or it might be saying that maybe if you're, like, angry or something's not working out, it's like, you know, try to do it. Don't act out in anger. Try to, like, do something in a better way. I don't know. Um, you have obedience, all right? So this is about, like, really um somebody kind of, like, not doing what they're supposed to. It doesn't mean it has to be you, but it might be the person that you're dealing with. Um, this person is wearing a blindfold, so it's like, uh, not wanting to see things, and she also has a sword, so it's like, maybe this person's always, like, quick and ready to, like, fight or argue or something like this, very defensive, but also not seeing their own issues, all right? So I feel like, um, and maybe that is why you got reflect and redirect your energy, because somebody is not doing what they're supposed to, they're not following the rules, and it's making you angry, instead of lashing out in anger, it's like, try to... Maybe go out and walk or something. Try to do things in a different way. This is it's time to take action, okay? This is Aries card, so it's like, you know, you need to light that fire up in, underneath of your little patootie and um, do what you guys gotta, gotta do, all right? It's like, don't hold back and be strong. Then I also did see recon, you know, reciprocation, all right? So you might be doing a lot of things for other people and you might not be getting it back, so it's like, don't do for others who are not gonna do for you. I'm going to read it. It says, a balance of give and take is vital to keep any relationship, friendship, or connection healthy. It's an omen that attention is needed on the effort that you are giving and receiving in your connections. Set clear boundaries. Do not accept less than what you deserve. Don't let anyone ride your coattails, and don't let anybody take advantage of you. And then you have dead ends. The time has come to let go. This is an omen that something has to come to an end. Whoever is not following the rules, whoever keeps on putting you through hell, it's like you need to leave them alone. All right? It's like this could be a job, a goal, a relationship, or a project. So it doesn't have to be a person. Um, this symbolizes the end of a cycle. All options have been exhausted. It's time to begin something new. Refusing to let go leads to suffering. Acceptance and gentle transition leads to healing. Alrighty, bottom of the deck is... Uh, King of Cups, you might be dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or you might just have, you, you know, the King of Cups is somebody who's like, doesn't allow things to kind of like let their emotions get the best of them or get them into trouble. So I feel like right now you're at a time where things are not really working out for you and you're trying to keep yourself like balanced, okay? Then you have the Seven of Pentacles, which is talking about like, this is your situation. It's like, I put so much time and energy into this, I put so much love into the situation and you're wondering if it's even worth it anymore. The Ace of Wands, it could be a love situation or something that you're really passionate about. It could be a friend, family, lover, it doesn't matter. Um, but it's like, whatever it is, it's like, it's getting really hard for you because they keep on not following directions. Maybe they're disrespecting you. Maybe they're not treating you right. Your challenge is the death and the Ten of Pentacles. It's like, you don't want to end this. Things are not ending. All right, it's just staying the same. It's not ending. Um, it's like in, this is Scorpio. So you guys might be um, and it's something that you could have been dealing with for like close to ten years with the Ten of Pentacles. It doesn't have to be like I said, take what resonates. But the Death card and the Ten of Pentacles are both about endings, right? The Ten of Pentacles is endings and the new beginning. So it also deals with money. So you might be having struggles with financial issues right now. Um, your actions and advice is the Devil card and the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is trying to lead you away from this devil, all right? It's trying to lead you away from this toxic behavior, this toxic person, toxic situation, whatever it is. It's like it's trying, the universe is pulling you in another direction. I know you feel they're pulling you in another direction, but it's somebody is not allowing to let go. I mean, you could also not be with this person. Maybe this person keep them resurfacing and keep them trying to come back into your life. It can be that as well, but I feel like with the Devil card and the Knight of Cups, it's like somebody's feeling stuck in chain. Somebody's obsessed. Somebody's like really, really like stuck all right the universe is like go the other way um the outcome the king of swords see things clearly don't allow people to lie to you pay attention to what they do don't listen to their words um their actions is going to tell you a whole hell of a lot more than what they're really doing you got to cheer your card it's like moving all right this cancer you definitely might be dealing with a water a cancer scorpio capricorn uh, or an air sign but um this is like forward movement towards success for the future. Like you got better things coming for you. You got the Hierophant, the Stars, lots of healing, um, and the Eight of Cups, which is walking away emotionally 
emotionally detached from the situation because it's too much. It's like you tried and you tried and you tried. This person's obsessed. This person doesn't listen. The person likes to break a lot of rules. It's very mean with their words. Um, they might like cut you with their words with the king of swords. But I feel like you are definitely ready to move on or you have moved on. Maybe this person hasn't. But you have the star in the hierophant. You're, you're now on your spiritual path. The stars are aligning for you. Balance is coming in for you. And you're also nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself and other people. Um, this is also about like, you know, spiritual advisor here, uh, teacher or healer or somebody that you look up to or other people look up to you for healing. Okay. Because you got the star and that. That's Aquarius as well. Um, you got cancer. Definitely could be dealing with cancer or they have cancer in the chart. So deep, deep and Aquarius keeps on popping up. Cancer, Aquarius, deeply intuitive, sensitive feelings and warm heart. And then Aquarius says, you have all the uniqueness that people look for but can't find. So I feel like that's why they're obsessed with you. Because they know they're never going to find anybody like you again. And then you have Taurus, traditional family values and grounding. Alright, so that's what I got for you guys. I'm just trying to do quick readings today because I'm trying to catch up on all signs. And I'm sick. Um, I've been sick for like weeks and I can't even like breathe right. But anyway, who cares. Um, but that's what I got for you guys. If you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. Uh, mm -mm. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> to